Guys, welcome back to another video. So my name is Piers. I invest in service accommodation business. I help so many clients through my sourcing and also consulting as well and have an online program, which I'm gonna leave the link down below. It is worth checking it out if you're looking to scale your business or start service accommodation as soon as possible. I've got so much content on the online program, so please do check it out. Today's video, I've got some absolutely interesting facts um, that I've managed to, you know, in this time of, I've really dig down into um, the, the, the Airbnb stats, the kind of, I want to learn more about the kind of the industry itself. And it was a great time um, to, for me to be able to kind of do all this research, research and then, and found out that not only myself who has found this very useful, I thought it, there might be more service accommodation owner who'll be really enjoying this kind of stats, some of the facts. So today's video is all about me sharing what I've learned in the last few days about some Airbnb facts and potentially a little bit about around service accommodation, the market of Airbnb industry in the UK around the world as well and some really key interesting facts well in this video I would love to know actually whoever's viewing if you are a service accommodation owner please comment down below or if you're not a service accommodation owner and are about to start a service accommodation unit this you this knowledge is so crucial it gives you an overview it gives you a great understanding of what is currently happening in the work market what happened in the journey of Airbnb throughout the last few years. So I've got, I've got some stats from previous years as well. So guys, please comment down below. Let me know if you are existing service accommodation owner or Airbnb owner um, around the world, or if you're just uh, about to start your Airbnb business, service accommodation business. So it'd be great to know um, what you guys are currently doing. So um, today's first thing I wanna ask you is, as you can see from my screen, if you can I guess how many listings they're live in Airbnb currently. So um, there's no cheating in this. You need to comment down below and let me know what you think there is uh, before you watch the next slide. So um, guys, it's such an interesting fact. When I saw this, I, I kind of knew uh, a guidance of it, but this is just based on Airbnb listings, but generally if you're on Airbnb, you are gonna be on all the other platform as well. So let me share you my screen and there are some great interesting facts as a destination countries um, around the world and how we as the United Kingdom fall into the top 10 destination in the world as well. So, so as you can see from our first screen, the countries with the most Airbnb listings are United States with 660,000, then France, then Italy, Spain's got quite a lot, and us as a country. Now, when we think our, we're actually, you know, people talk about oversaturation and stuff. We've actually got very less listing uh, as a country as well. So 175,000 uh, as a listing, although we are, we fall in the top 10 destinations. Uh, obviously London attracting a lot more um, kind of tourisms and stuff like that. So that's why we, we do fall in that top, top 10 destinations and people are actually using it. But if you see the difference in the market and how, you know, how big, as we know, the country is big anyway, but United States got a great, great amount of listings compared to what we have um, and how people around the world are actually leveraging, um, you know, the, the Airbnb uh, model or service accommodation model. Now, something I, I was very shocked uh, to see, as you can see from my screen, is I've, you know, that an average user who goes into an Airbnb app spends 11 minutes and 31 seconds. Now, you know, that's some great details you can you can kind of understand to your business. Now, what, what it's effectively saying is a, a, a client, a guest, would only spend up to 11 minutes, 31 seconds to actually find a place and book it. So within that time period, it's really, you've got an, probably an opportunity, maybe what, a minute, for a client to come to your listing and actually view that properly in detail. So you've, you've got a minute before you make a wow uh, impression to your guests. So what are you gonna do about it and how are you gonna actually create that wow listing and just not Airbnb but any other platform? But that's such a great detail that gave me an understanding of, you know, how should I invest my marketing into all the platform accordingly and how my clients are gonna spend less than 60 seconds to actually make a decision um, based on my pictures, my descriptions and all that information. So 
amazing great detail i think that's such a great information um that i'm sharing with you guys today once off you know once i saw it myself now we move on to the trending destinations of 2020 now uh, obviously with this year happening what's happening around the world i know there might be some difference but um as you can see from my screen um according to airbnb the following cities are expected to be the most popular destination in 2020 uh, based on year and year increase of booking percentage um, so that means you know it, it, it says how you know different part of the world are leveraging Airbnb now for example um, out of you know the the six locations I've got there I've personally been to Bilbao and it's it's such a beautiful and really uh, to see that growth which is 402 percent year and year people in Bilbao who's you know, doing their BNP business, they must be absolutely loving this, um, the increase they're seeing in, you know, year and year. And actually, not only that, that's really helping the economy as well. Um, so I think that was, again, a, a great kind of understanding for myself in, in terms of, you know, the trending destination of 2020 as as just Airbnb in general. Um, now, um, something different, I'd say, of this is, is Airbnb launched as you can see, it's, it's a plus program. Um, now, Airbnb has, you know, has always kind of been innovative. They kind of give you different super hosts. You know, if you get a certain percentage of rating and amount of, um, you know, 100% response rate and stuff like that. But it's great they're actually offering people to even step up um, their listing and their, you know, service accommodation business. I'm not too sure if you were aware of this, but, you know, it's such a great program. It says the host must have 4.8 minimum rating, 95% acceptance rate on, on the bookings prior to 12 months, uh, and it must be an entire um, in, entire listing um, or, uh, or a, you know, a bedroom with private bedroom with its own bathroom and 100% inspection point. So what that means is they actually um, physically uh, in person verify this property to make sure that you're giving clients the best service. And eventually that program has led uh, plus homes earns up to 4,400% more than a standard listing, which means obviously they must be uh, promoting those property a lot better than the, the, the standard property. So another quite a different unique information I got from Airbnb, which was great. Uh, now, moving on to Airbnb experiences. Now you can see from my screen, it launched in 2016 with 500 experiences around the world. I think it's really now not only Airbnb focuses on uh, giving client a good accommodation, they, they're all about experiences. And one of the uh, reasons, I mean, the, the, the fact of why people are booking with Airbnb, and there were some of the things that I knew of anyway, but for you, if you're looking to start service accommodation business, this is gonna give you another great information uh, and understanding that why people choose Airbnb now uh, or service accommodation. Now, 94% of guests wanted security of paying over Airbnb, which is great. Now, us as a host, it's great as well, because obviously, as you're aware that um, they give us protection and insur insurance up to a certain amount. Um, so if you know we've we fall and manage to get a wrong kind of guest who's booked through Airbnb, um, Air, Airbnb has always got a pride around it. So that's great for us. Um, so that means the more people that book through Airbnb, and and actually to be fair, one thing about this guys is I work with a lot of um, branding marketing um, clients. So so I, one of the the consulting I do is I offer clients with. Um, kind of brand builder and one of the thing I see people not doing is not leveraging the platform itself and actually they're, they're driving their traffic through a lot more booking.com where they you know clients are paying 20% on uh, you're paying over 20 you know 15 to 20% depending on where you are um, the, the commissions and stuff like that so one of the biggest thing I've always done is I've really leveraged Airbnb especially for my long-term contract to booking for first time and then I turn them into kind of the weekly booking as well so um, you know from from again going back to what you know what they what the clients are finding is the security uh, of paying over Airbnb is a lot better um, they've found that 96% of guests are seeking for an authentic experience in their local so which means effectively what they want to do is they want to be a local and live like a local by booking an Airbnb whereas if you be if they book a hotel 
it's you know they're they're going to feel like they're just going to be in a hotel and that's it. Whereas you know, if we know that in a service accommodation, they, they, the, the, the services we provide, the experience we've got, the, you know, the, the whole journey we have as a service accommodation um, allows them to feel like home and not only that, it makes them feel like a local. 69% um, of travellers um, would prefer to spend more money on better activities than hotel rooms. So what that means is rather than paying a lot of money for hotel rooms, they want to prefer into experiencing local places to eat. Like, so I've seen many service accommodation owner uh, do it. We kind of recommend what, where to go to eat locally and, you know, promote the local businesses. That allows, you know, not only from a guest perspective, rather than just booking a lot of money into a hotel, they like to save a little bit from there and then spend that money in some local activities as well, which is be best for the business and the economy. Um, and last but not the least, 65% want to experience something new versus relax on va va vacation. So rather than just, you know, going and booking a hotel again, they want to try something different and hence they, they book um, Airbnb or service accommodation. So I hope you guys are finding this uh, video useful, kind of unique and kind of relates to what we are doing as a service accommodation industry as well. Um, so moving on to uh, guess how much a host income was collected uh, via Airbnb in 2018 in the UK. Uh, now, again, if you're watching this video, guys, without looking at the next slide, please make sure you comment down below. See, it, it would be amazing if to if there's people out there who actually knows, you know, this kind of figures or they've been kind of collecting or understanding the business behind just not just service accommodation, but the history of Airbnb and stuff. So, um, as you can see from my screen, there's a whole list of actually different countries in 2018 but as the united kingdom we collected 5.6 billion in host income or estimate estimated guest spending which means obviously guest has booked um an overall amount in for, uh, of 5.6 billion now you can see how big the industry itself and bearing in mind this is just airbnb in, uh in loan now you can imagine what you know collecting it through direct bookings we've got um, booking.com which is again one of the biggest platforms so putting this all together you could imagine what a big industry we're working with and why it's so important to really know and understand the market really see what market is actually giving us the best impact now for me this is kind of an overview anyway but it's great to see how other part of the world like United States got 33.8 billion which is you know six times more than what we are doing uh france spain italy again those three countries have got great great return as well uh, through airbnb so great opportunity to see exactly what's happening around the world something different um i wanted to touch base on and these are some selected numbers of slides i put together because i didn't want them to go long and long but uh, i hope you guys are seeing this and what i do is i'll put some kind of link at the end of the video where you can find more information and if you want to go back and read about this please do so um so what kind of age group and the use of airbnb so who books airbnb and what kind of age group actually uses airbnb and this was quite fascinating that when i saw this i started thinking about what kind of guests am i getting how often do i get guests over 50s and why do they book with me so it kind of gives me an uh, understanding around what sort of clientele am I working with and is that the same in every single location or is it different to different location so one of the thing I have I have noticed myself um, and as you can see from my screen is you've got 25 years old to 34 years old who books Airbnb um, you know who's got 40 40 percent of the market share of booking Airbnbs which means they're more tech, tech savvy they understand the innovation side of businesses and they do not mind taking risk and booking service accommodation Airbnb. Whereas people from 35 plus, 45 plus, they're more, you know, it's decreasing because eventually they've never used Airbnb before. They prefer to be, you know, using hotels uh, and hence why the market share looks a little bit completely different. But um, that was again quite, uh, I'd say I agree because that's the sort of clientele I get in my accommodation across the board uh, in my portfolio. So moving on to, uh, you know, how do guests find you? Now, this was quite interesting. Again, for me, because I consult with my branding and my marketing clients, one of the things I always share with them is, 
you know, I always ask them, how are guests finding you? Or what, sh what platform are you actually making a lot of uh, return from in terms of, are they booking you through Airbnb? Or are they booking you through booking.com? Have you got any other market placement? Or is it other platforms that you're getting booking through? So one of the questions that I'd like to ask you if you're already running service accommodation or Airbnb business is, how do guests find you? Apart from, you know, if you're just an Airbnb, then great, you've just been found on Airbnb, but something to ask yourself, because as you can see from my screen, this is more towards travelers for vacation rentals, but it also falls down to into obviously a service accommodation in business. Now, 64.5% obviously is found through online travel agents. So people who are traveling, they find you through online travel agent as a 64%. But actually, there's tw nearly 16.9, 17% are searched by uh, Google, which is now we talk about direct booking. Now that's great because I there's 20% of clientele, or you know, 15, 17% of clientele who is actually looking in Google, not looking at the online travel agents. That means if you're not registered in Google or any other direct booking platforms, you're missing complete chance of actually getting booked, um, which means you're actually. 20% less or you know 17% less in this case on your booking so 6 4.8% uh, on word of mouth 4% on direct referrals uh, and then 9.7 on the others so again great kind of detailed information i love this um, and it's one of the tools that I, I'm gonna, you know, really use it to to my marketing techniques and understand how and where I can put my impact uh, to to grow my service accommodation business and also help my uh, clients, one-to-one -one clients, to really understand how this works and gives it gives them an opportunity to understand as well. So, moving into I think uh, the last part of the video, I wanted to um, kind of leave you with uh, this information of. You know the the, prop, the 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 details and the research I've done is it was just based on me just sitting down and really wanted to find out more about the the industry. Wanted to see where the industry is going, so I was trying to search. You know what is Airbnb doing in 2020? Um, and I do want to give some credit to some of the um, you know all of I mean most of the data I've got through was from Airbnb, iProperty Management. Big shout out to them as well and Google. And that's where I put all this together for you guys to. Um, to go through with me really and I wanted to sh uh, show you guys that there's so much information out there that it's always worth putting together helping other service accommodation owner now I have done so many other videos where I've done free guides to um, service accommodation owners free Airbnb hacks I've done free how to list on direct bookings and stuff like that. So um, I'll leave some of the link down below on my channel. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. 